The third and final major concept of sustainable thinking is the integrated process, which is the key to applying sustainable thinking to real-life situations. Remember the example about the system of the human body. The lung is made up of lots of cells. However, when the cells are put together without the whole system in place, these cells cannot perform the breathing function of the lung. Without a working system, an emergent property cannot be created. Assembling project stakeholders, architects, and engineers will not create a successful project. Rather, a system should be formed with the flow of information and collaboration between each member. To better understand the topic, we will now discuss the conventional building process and then continue explaining the details of the integrated building process. In the conventional building process, project teams work in isolation and collaborate when problems occur. Usually, the process starts with a project owner hiring an architectural firm to develop the design. As the design progresses, the architectural firm hires electrical and mechanical designers who then start integrating the electrical and mechanical parts of the design separately. Then, construction plans are issued, and the owner starts the bidding process. In this phase, different general contractors are requested to bid, and once all the bids are submitted, the owner chooses the general contractor and awards the construction of the project. This is called the design-bid-build process. With this approach, the general contractor was not involved in the design phase at all, and furthermore, they didn't have any collaboration with the architectural firm. In addition, they didn't have any collaboration with the mechanical and electrical designers. During the construction phase, as problems arise, the general contractor will invite the architectural firm. In turn, the architectural firm, if needed, will invite the electrical and mechanical designers to the meetings in order to solve the problems at hand, and the outcome will usually be construction delays and extra project costs. Referring to the human body system example, all the cells were there, but the system was not working. 